Hi everyone, it's Dr Viv Rolf here and I'm just introducing your first assignment which is all about how to write a search strategy. Well, why do a search strategy? Well, key to any piece of research you might do for an essay, for a more in-depth assignment or a dissertation, the most important starting point is getting your search strategy right. So every day we're using Google, aren't we? And we're just liberally putting in words. There's no strategy behind it. We can't always go back and find what we've already done. So really, that's not an efficient way of doing research. And Google really isn't going to find us good quality scientific papers either. So what we need to do is not just use a reputable search engine or a medical database, such as those you'll see in the library, but we can be a bit more clever about the way we do searching. And I really think once you have understood this as a student, this is the most fundamental thing you can do to improve any aspect of your work as you go through your studies. So people in the library, people that are specialists, actually have come quite adept in evolving their own language for searching. And they use terms called Boolean terms. So these are just search terms. And you can see some of them down here. We've got a hashtag sign. That's the Boolean term for search. We've got the word or, which is what you would type in to expand a search. We've got the word and and not. And again, these are used and literally typed in to cross-reference your search and to exclude elements of your search. And what we'll do is I'll talk you through an example and it will become a lot, lot clearer. So as I said at the start, it's really important you get this search strategy right because it could save you so much time. It really can. And actually, this is where Wikipedia comes in useful because when you're starting out on a search, sometimes you don't know what to search for. So if it's a new subject, I go straight to Wikipedia and I get a bit of a background feel for the subject and I can pick out some keywords for that. Then actually what you would do is you would not just do this search strategy once, you would test it out, see what papers you find and, and see what keywords they're using and modify your search. And this is called iterative searching. So, for example, there's been a really interesting article out in Gut, the journal, this week about use of dogs for smelling and detecting cancers. So I want to do a search strategy to find out more papers about this. So the first thing you do is you have a, a brain dump and identify loads of keywords. But you don't just do that in a haphazard way. What you do is you put them in categories, like you've seen here. So in blue, I've got a category all about dogs, canine. I could probably think of some more keywords if I wanted to. Then I've got a section all about, well, what was the intervention, if you like. It's, it's about looking for odour, olfaction, scent. OK, so look at those words. They're all clustered in that category there, in the green circle. Um, then perhaps I'm interested in looking at one disease idea. So colon cancer was the one that was talked about in this paper. But other keywords might be things like disease detection carcinoma detection so you could expand that list of keywords so if you just went on and did that search in a haphazard way you'd end up loads of things there'd be no organization um, what you want to do is cross link all those searches so you want everything to do with dogs that's related to everything to do with scent detection that is linked to everything to do with colon cancer if you think about it in this Venn diagram way we're very much interested in the red spot in the middle. We want to find all those articles relating to those three things. And that's exactly what we can do with a Boolean search. So what we're going to do next is go to PubMed. But the library at DMU will recommend other online databases. Um, PubMed is a very medical focused one. So it might not contain too much to do with nursing or other allied health science subjects were actually might be relevant so the other library databases are useful but I think for your studies if you use PubMed and nothing else you absolutely won't go far wrong so it's an online database that searches thousands and thousands of medical journals available all over the world and in the next little screencast we'll go on and do a boolean search and I'll show you a bit more about PubMed <laughs> 